welcome to BambooLib in Databricks. In the first part of the video, we will show you how to create an interactive visualization for comparing stock data and the necessary data wrangling that is needed for that. We will do this without any coding. However, you will get access to the code in the end in order to make your workflow reproducible. In the second part, we show you the power of extending Mambulib with plugins. This allows you to add more functionality and reduce the manual effort by a factor of 10. So let's get started. Imagine we are a financial analyst at a company called Blue Rock. On Monday, we want to create the outcome that you saw before using plain Mambulib. We are in the Databricks notebook and start by importing Mambulib. First, we want to read the Apple stock data from the database. Second, we want to repeat the process for the Google stock data. Next, we are going to concatenate the two tables into a single table called stocks. Before we continue, let's have a look at the date range of our data. We expect that the data is evenly distributed, but there is something else going on in the beginning. So let's sort the data by the date column and inspect what is going on. Looking at the rows, we can see that we only have data for Google in the beginning. So to clean this up, we filter the data set to start in 2018. After this cleaning step, we are now going to calculate a new column. We're going to create the index return. To do this, we first create the price return by calculating the percentage change of the close price. Next, we're going to add a value of 1. And before we can continue, we need to fill the missing values with a value of 1. Finally, we can calculate the cumulative product over the column to achieve our final result. Now let's visualize the index return. We open the plot creator and create a line plot. On the x-axis we set the date, on the y-axis we add the index return and we color it by the label of the stock. Finally, we add a date range buttons and we also add a range slider. That's it. Everything that you create with Bambulip is reproducible. So to save your analysis, you can access the code for the visualization as well as the data wrangling that happened before. And that's it. Here you go. You have your outcome that we've shown you before and you created it without any coding by yourself. Now, Let's show you how you can make this analysis even easier if you use the power of Bambula plugins. We are back on Wednesday. The engineers at our company set up the Bambula plugins and we will now see how much easier the whole task becomes. In the notebook, we import both Bambulib as well as our internal library called Blue Rock Analytics. We see that the loader user interface now contains more options like loading ticker data or accessing other data sources. We choose to load ticker data. Please note that the user interface has been designed by our engineers and we can select pre-populated options. There is no need for us to know the names of the internal database tables. When we look at the data, we see that it is already concatenated and the date range is also clean for us. Next, we are going to calculate the index return, which already exists as a prepared transformation. And finally, we are going to visualize the index return based on a default visualization, which auto populates all the fields. And that's it. If you like this demo, you can try out Bambulib on Databricks today.